Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. We are going to start taking a look at the newest faction that the Dragon Trappers launch has released upon us, and that is the Acolytes of the Primordials. And if you followed this channel for a while, you might know, and if you didn't, well, you're gonna learn it now, but I'm a huge fan of the Dragon Trappers launch, especially when they started really emphasizing the wargaming, skirmish game, tabletop aspect of a lot of their models. Don't get me wrong, the stuff prior to when they were focusing on that was actually a lot of really cool, very original, interesting models. And to come full circle, we've actually seen some of those models getting uh, repurposed and upgraded into some of these new factions that they've rolled out. And the Acolytes of the Primordials are no different. I mean, um, we've had, what, the Simeon Legions. We've had the Children of the Flame. I don't have any of my possessed evil dragon dudes handy. We've had, like, the Sharks. We've had the Tundra Ice Guys. We've had the Slimes and Oozes. We've had the Critter Folk. We've had the little Coconut Guys. I mean, there's been a ton of cool stuff. And besides all that, I mean, the Dragon Trapper's Lodge excels at big, chunky monsters. You know, if you want like a mid-sized boss monster piece, I'm still working on my big wyvern. This is one of the siege wyverns from the Children of the Flame faction, who, for all intent and purpose at this point, is wrapped up. And they've just got a ton of cool stuff, if you haven't had a chance to see. And I think that the Acolytes are going to give them a major run for their money. So, let's talk about the Acolytes. We'll talk about the Primordials another day, because they're just too cool to squeeze into one video. Uh, so, our Acolytes, you'll see the first of the Acolytes, at least, are going to be these Seraphs. I believe their name was. And yes, they are big Triceratopsian dinosaur people. What more could I ask for? After all, back when there was only really one war game in town, you can take one wild guess as to what my favorite faction was. And if you said Lizardman, because I'm not going to say Seraphon, you would be correct. I absolutely was a hardcore Lizardman fan. And you know what really brought me to them were the dinosaurs. So when I have an entire gaming faction of dinosaur people, you can pretty much guarantee I am going to be all in on that. I have got bottles upon bottles of resin from Prime Day waiting to be used, and I've already used a few, let me just put it that way. Uh, if you're curious as to how big these are, having a relatively larger scale human from the Dragon Trapper's Lodge, along with a couple of the other models this is from the Chosen of the Kami faction. Samurai that had a bunch of yokai and other things with them. So you can see he's already a good head or two taller than the others. And I mean, these guys are fairly large for their size. He is on a, well, let's say a 30 millimeter base. That seems about right. <coughs> I was going to say this might tell us what scale it is. Nope, it's just made in the USA. America. But I'm going to take a wild guess that it's a 30 millimeter. Yep. That's what we'll say. 30 millimeter sounds good. One of the nice things is for all of the various basic troops, you have your choice of hand to hand weapons. So I have him with a glaive. They had spears, they had swords. And that's just for the first set that we've got. There's other types coming, and you can pretty much guarantee we'll see some of those on this channel as they get released. We've got an example of the high priest here with the big fancy headdress. He did have some little tassels that were hanging off of his glaive that I naturally broke, so I figured I'm just gonna have to clip them off entirely and make it look like it was meant to be that way. If I hadn't said anything, you'd never know, but just, again, nice, big, bulky models that I have not managed to break in any other way yet, so fingers crossed it stays that way. So that's what's making up so far the basic troops. We've had a couple of magic using types, such as, I think these were called the Life Weavers. I want to say the Brontosaurus guys were called Brotoss. Bro. Kind of like druids. I mean, if you wanted to use these for like one off dinosaur. RPG characters. You've got a great looking druid right here. And of course there's a multitude of poses of these guys as well. And that's just for the basic stuff so far. 
uh, before we start getting into the really fancy stuff, and I know we've got a lot of like larger scale heavy infantry units coming in the near future, which we'll have to show off. Uh, here we have one of the more uh, well-respected leaders. This is the Brotoss Oracle. Now, I had a heck of a time getting this guy onto his sedan chair thing there and it did actually have armrests and I broke one of them and I thought it looked stupid with only one armrest so I tried to clean it up as best I could to make it kind of nice and smooth on both sides. It did take a lot of wiggling and I had to heat up the tail to actually get it to all work because it is one single piece at least with the body. Uh, it was a bit of a challenge when he had the armrests, but since I broke one, I figured, well, now I've just got it on easy mode, so we're going to cheat in that, but be aware <laughs> that it is an issue. Uh, our first of the dinosaurs, since we haven't seen any yet, these are the Crusasaurs. And you can see they are quite elaborately armored, and I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to paint that yet. And for the Crusasaurs, I just now realized I don't have any other Dragon Trapper's Lodge cavalry handy. I know I was painting some of the shark things, but I don't have them here. You can see we have a Seraph Knight. I believe that's what he was called. Maybe I should grab, like, let's see if I have any other reptilian cavalry handy. Aha, I do! Ooh, you are outclassed in size there, buddy. So yeah, uh, big, chunky dinosaurs. But I haven't even actually shown off the dinosaurs yet, believe it or not. Now, I don't have that many handy. I have had very limited time. Like I said, we just barely got back from Japan since I'm filming this video, but that's okay because we're going to actually bring in another video later to talk about the primordials and we'll have some discussion and showing off some of the other dinosaur options. But the first one I want to show you guys is the Brutoceratops. Whoa, and I just broke the staff of... <laughs> Here I was saying that I wasn't going to break anything. Well, I stand corrected. Whoops, that's okay. We'll do something to fix them up. Anyway, a Brutoceratops was something that we saw way back when we were seeing early skirmish stuff still from the lodge. And originally it was just a big dinosaur. It didn't have much in the way of decorations. And yes, it has six legs. Uh, the creatures that were featured in a lot of those early releases were just absolutely wild and had way too many body parts, which was absolutely perfect for me. So we've seen him repurpose, like I said, he was from an older set, and they've got these really nice weapon platforms that they can carry. You'll notice that the platforms are actually magnetized. They have the little spots for it ready to go, and there's a couple different variants on this as well. There's some that actually have pre-molded spots if you want to have, you know, uh, workers actually manning your weaponry. So far, I just decided to go with a catapult. Again, these are totally new sculpts, and you can see here we have the spots for the magnets to be included as well. I need to sand that down a little bit so it fits a little smoother. But one of the crazy things is that priest that I actually just broke off the tip of his spear to, there are options to have mounted versions. You can have one hanging out on one of these. You can have him hanging out on one of the cruzosaurs here. There's quite a bit of options available for them, even for the command unit so far. I want to say our Brotoss, our Oracle here that I was showing you, that I'm trying to get off his chair. Come on, buddy. They actually have a version you can have sitting on top of one of these. There's at least two or three other weapon types available for them. So there's a lot of fun stuff to have playing around with. My personal favorite, as I'm trying to grab it, is one of the newer dinosaurs. I don't recall this one from earlier releases. This is the Invincidon. I have absolutely no idea what it's supposed to be a proxy for. If anything, I don't even care. It's just going to go rampaging around on my table. And the fact that it has these ridiculous horns, and again, six legs, because why not? I'm all here for it. So if you want to have an army of big, I mean, big dinosaurs... Look at our poor wyvern here. 
he may be a little bit taller, but he definitely isn't as bulky. And I haven't even talked about like the giant Spinodon. I don't have mine handy. Uh, they repurposed the Spinodon. I've actually got a video of it somewhere here. And uh, instead of having the big howdah on its back, now has a big honking catapult with like flaming, you know, napalm shots at the launching. So that thing is going to be absolutely massive. It was a huge model. It's got like a four piece base. It's just gigantic. It's like over a foot long as it is. Uh, so if you want to have one of those just stampeding down your table. And I want to say there's a big like Titanosaurus some kind of a sauropod coming as well. And you can pretty much guarantee that I will print that as well. So um, if you're in the need for dinosaurs or dragons or dinosaur-like giant monsters, absolutely give the Dragon Trappers Lodge a look if you haven't had a chance. And I am eagerly awaiting to see more of these released. And as I said before, uh, these are just the alkalites. We haven't even seen the actual primordials yet on camera, I should say, because they have released a few and I am busy finishing printing them off at the moment. I just wanted to show my dinosaurs off because I want to get started on painting them. Hopefully we'll see those show up if you want to see how I do on that and criticize my poor painting skills. Every Monday we usually put those up, so you are welcome to check those out as well. And with that said then, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon. Bye bye.